Welcome to Lenya. Both teams are pushing hard to prep their appetizers, clams and chorizo, and broken avocado salad. I'm gonna do a test here, Josh, and then you can okay it. Do it up. We're gonna succeed together, we're gonna fail yeah. together. Yeah. And that's not an option. Okay, we have orders in. Red team, one avocado salad, one clam and chorizo. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I'm gonna have Chanel do the uh, broken avocado salad, and I'm gonna do the clams. This is way too hot, way too hot. And then what I'm gonna have Jennifer do is go back and forth uh, in helping us. Do, how are we doing for avocados? Do we need more avocados? No, we're good. Kate, how are you doing, Josh? Good, good, good. Blue team, one avocado salad, two clams and chorizo. I'm doing the clams and chorizo. Woo! It's something I've eaten often, I've made often. It's a no-brainer. Blood orange, and then we got pumpkin seeds. Andre wants to do the salad. You're doing wicked, Chrissy. Thank you, thank you. Regine is our floater, I guess. Check two clams up. Good job. Table 15, two clams. It's a lot harder than it seems. Blue team, did you hear me? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, Chef. We're going to have to scrap this batch. They didn't open? Uh, a lot of them didn't, no. No? No. The clams are just not opening fast enough. OK, Chrissy, I need you to push on those clams. OK, yes. Yes, Chef. It's feeling really overwhelming that I just can't get them out fast enough. Let's go, let's go. So close. My team is saying, we got clams coming. They're not coming. Chrissy needs to get on it pronto. I need clams. I'm the team captain, and I'm going to sink this team. We, we got like six clams all day. I thought there was just the four. My blood pressure is rising fast. Blue team, I need those clams, please. Get it together, woman. Chrissy, I need this out a little bit faster. Keep it on the heat. Make sure you got enough liquid in there. Thank you. Those clams will open up to you. Let's get that heat up. You know clams. You know all of these flavors. You know what you're doing. That's good, and it's hot. All of a sudden, I find my groove, and we are busting out appetizers. Two clams, chef. Nice looking chorizo and clams here, Chrissy. Your rush order is up, Thank chef. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Here, plate this. Josh, is there another piece of tentacle for this uh, calamari and chorizo? I need another squid. Have you got another squid to grab me? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, just right here, right here. Put it in here. Being the team captain, there's a lot of pressure. I don't have the time to just stop what I'm doing and turn around just to double check everything. I'm kind of relying on my teammates. Can I get a bit more broth in these clams? They're too dry. Yes, chef. One more. It's got to be one more, more soupy. Hurry it up because those clams are going to get cold. Yes, chef. Chef Michael is looking for perfection. As the home cooks prepare for the entree service, the judges take a moment to taste each team's appetizers. OK, let's tuck into the blue team. Broken avocado salad. A fairly generous portion, maybe a little too heavy on the beans, on the base, in my opinion. In terms of dressing, they've got that formula right. Fresh, crisp, nicely seasoned salad. The red team, I think, did a great job on the presentation. Great control with the seasoning. The seasoning really brings out the avocado. OK, let's take a look at the clams and chorizo on the blue team. Good portion, approximate to what I'd served or shown them. The broth is right at the edge of saltiness. Lovely cook on that clam. The squid on the blue team, for me, hits that sweet spot. It's very tender. The red team's clam and chorizo. The red team's broth, it's very spicy. However, the red team did a great job with the calamari. It's perfectly tender, it's well seasoned. Both teams seem to cook the calamari, the clams, really quite nicely. So you got the salmon? Yes. I got the lamb. The appetizer was definitely more like a practice, and the entree is the real thing. Guests will choose between roasted lamb sirloin and Atlantic salmon. Red team. Yes, chef. One Atlantic salmon, one roasted lamb sirloin. Yes, chef. I'm going to be cooking the lamb, Chanel plating the dishes. We have to get the sauces going, guys. I have Jennifer cooking the salmon. OK, I think this is almost there. The skin's getting pretty good. I actually haven't cooked a lot of salmon, but I'm about to get to know salmon real well. Listen up, blue team. Three Atlantic salmon, one roasted sirloin. Yes, chef. I'm taking on the salmon. Ah! Guys, I need help. I need a regime on the lamb. That's how he got himself back in the MasterChef kitchen. Good sear on that lamb. Lamb's in. Andre's plates are gorgeous. He did such an amazing job in the appetizer round that, you know what, stick with it. I need the first dish up. I am now starting to get a little concerned. Lamb up, chef. Here we go. Here we go. That's two blue in the oven. Two blue in the oven. Lambs are not done here. I don't feel like we're kicking off on the right foot. It doesn't feel organized. You guys, these are all blue. These are too rare, like longer in the pan. Come on, red team, you're killing me over here. Salmon and lamb to get your first order out. Order up, chef. Service, pick up. Feels like we're super slow and, and everything else is going 100 miles an hour. Red team, tell me what you got coming up next. Uh, two lamb and two salmon. 
Thank you so much. While many customers sit waiting for their entrees, one diner has encountered a problem. Michael, I went to one of the tables. Look at that. Look at that. Jennifer, this salmon yes, is sir. way too underdone. Oh, no. I assume each of us is quality checking throughout the cook. Salmon is not, is, is not being cooked properly. This is not, look, you guys, this is not done. Hey, Jennifer, just, that's Dude, you keep pulling me off of this Kay. to do other things? Okay. Josh should be taking the responsibility of captain. Like, yelling at me doesn't make it better, man. Our team is suffering from communication breakdown. Do you need any more salmon? I don't know, guys, I don't know. I'm not the one to ask. A piece of salmon undercooked by me. I just want to fix this as fast as I can. Okay, that's better. You got it. Alvin, that's the recook. Sorry, I wasn't trying to let yell at you at all. I hope it's to your satisfaction. Okay. Very well done. Good. Thank you. Really apologize again. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been waiting? For the main course, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. Blue team, the two salmon, four lamb. Chef, how many lamb all day? Nine. Nine. I need one right now to go with this salmon. If it's not here in a minute, I'll be sending this salmon back. It is almost impossible to get the timing right on the big tables that have a mix of both the salmon and the lamb. Guys, I need it in two minutes, or we have to reset the whole thing. No, it's coming. Red team. Yes. Four lamb, new order, OK? Was that a yes? Yes, chef. Yes, Thank yes, you. Chef. The tickets just never stop. You just feel like you're just constantly trying to dig your way out of this hole, uh, and the only place that you're going is down. In the past, two salmon, followed by two lamb, and one second, chef. I need four lamb to go with these two. Oh. And then it's two lamb, two salmon after oh, that. Oh, you need four lamb, OK. Yes. Do you need another pan for lamb? Uh, yeah. How long on that salmon and that lamb? He needs to cook more lamb, so we're going to be about eight minutes. Eight minutes? That's killing me. Red team. These are words you don't want to hear. You have over a 90-minute wait on one table. It's a 10-year-old girl. I spend a lifetime building this company, not to be destroyed in an afternoon. 90 minutes have gone by? This is a horror of a service. I'm sending my chef de cuisine, Julie, in to help. OK. Blue team, I'm sending Chef Julie to give you a hand so we can get these last few tables out. Yes, yeah, Chef. Guys, we got to get these final tables out. Let's go. OK, I'm going to go and jump in the red team, give them a hand. I need you to stay on the okay. path. All right, red team, we got to get this salmon out. I'm not going to let my customers down. You going in the oven with those? Yes, I am, Chef. Uh, it's a little dark on that, that one. a little dark. She's here because we suck. <laughs> one salmon, three lamb up. Table eight, pick up. Table 13, two salmon, two lamb. You're going to table 14. Service, please. Thank you. Nice looking plates. Red team, you are done. Your last plates are out. Yes. Feels great. At the same time, um, you know, I feel bad. You know, we definitely could have done better. You know, I had 90 minutes behind service. Blue team, you're done. Thank you, Chef. Yay. Well done. It took too long. But we did it. We actually did it. It was painful at times, but we got it done. The red team nailed it on the salmon. It's so perfectly cooked and tender. It's wonderful. The red team's lamb is just a little bit overdone. Um, I love the blue team salmon. It's the best ever. It's cooked perfectly. My lamb from the blue team is a little overdone for me, but the sauce accompanies it quite nicely. It was a long, hard push for both red team and the blue team. They struggled to stay ahead, to get the food out quick enough, maybe a lack of communication too. So let's take a look at the blue team salmon dish. Looks like a nice color on the salmon skin, looking nice and crispy. So let's cut it open. See what the cook is like. I had asked that it be just a little blushing pink on the inside. This, it is probably just a little on the overside. They're a little bit on the dry side, and maybe a little more seasoning as well. Now let's try the red team salmon. The skin is not as crispy. Probably you can see right there. I do find the cook on the salmon of the red team a little closer to the cook that I was looking for. The fish, though, is under seasoned. There's not enough sea salt. All right, let's uh, take a look at the blue place lamb. What I asked the home cooks to do was to cook the lamb between medium and medium well. That was the range, the sweet spot that I'd like them to cook it to. That's what they've given me. The seasoning for the lamb, for me, is just a little bit off, maybe a little bit too much. Try that, Michael. That piece is a little over. Let's take a look at the red team's lamb. The lamb is well seasoned, but it's also well done. I'd say the lamb is a little over. It looks like both teams excelled with the appetizers, but they both struggled with the main courses. Maybe it wasn't enough pre-planning. Maybe it wasn't staying on top of things, but they struggled. You're going to be doing the, a halibut? Who can sear? Yeah, sear okay. scallops, yes. And then you can be fast on that? Yes. OK, yeah. today is the fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. Look, everybody's top. I want everything perfect. We have plenty of time. Just execution. Let's do this, guys. Yeah, take your fish out. Let's go. 
you're going to take your time and you're going to do it perfectly, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go. You just need to work a little bit faster, okay? The key to a great service is a case of delegating, planning, organization. Get rid of your board, go. Get rid of your board, clean up, and then do this. Come on. You got to have the right people doing the right job. How many times do you make aioli, Mike? A uh, lot. Exactly. Lots, chef. You know. What are you making here? I'm making the squake aioli, chef. Why is it so runny? It's supposed to be thick. I'm going to put another egg yolk in there, and it's going to thick it up nicely. How's it going, Mike? The squid ink, it really gives it a weird color. We want it really black, Mike. It looks really gnarly. It's great. It doesn't look anything close to what I showed you. I've got to add more in, and I just didn't want to get it too salty, chef. It's good. It tastes OK, but yeah. the color, the, just you the can't color. serve anything that looks no, like No, this. no, no, yeah. Get this out of here. I buggered up whipping yolks into oil, essentially. Bush leek. Put mustard in yet? Yeah, I did. And just give me one little shot of squid okay, ink. You've got to get actually. that aioli done. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It'll be don't worry. in like two minutes. At any moment, you will have your first order. For the appetizer course, the customers can choose either the beet salad with walnuts, yogurt, and pickled onion, or the seared scallops with smoked roe and squid ink aioli. Chefs, new order in. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Blue team, three yes, beets, one scallop. Yes, three beets, one scallop. Yes, beets, one scallop. yes chef. Red team. Yes, yeah. chef. Two beets, two scallops. Let's get going. How are we on scallops? I'm just about to flip, just finishing the sear. The red team gets their beet salad up first. Service, chef. Why isn't the beet in the center of the plate? Not good enough. Yes, Do chef. It over. Yes, chef. Come on, guys, details. Call me Tamara. Wow. Burrito, that looks amazing. Excellent. Thank you, chef. Let's go, guys. Come on. That's it, guys. Very nice. Thank you, chef. Perfect. Service, two scallops, two beets, table four. As the blue team's appetizers hit the table, on the red team, Tamara struggles with her plating. Service, chef. It looks dry, more dressing, more olive oil. Let's yes, go. Yes, chef. Give me a beet salad that you're proud of, okay? Yes, chef. Another beet, three more scallops, blue team, let's go. Order, chef. All right, let's check out these plates. Yep, chef. Tamara. Yes, Chef. These beets look beautiful. Finally, we have a competition here. You're starting to plate like you mean it, right? Yes, Chef. Eric is on the scallops. The scallops are being cooked to perfection. Are those scallops cold, Pino? No, Chef. They feel warm. Chef, coming up for scallops. Nice looking scallops. Thank you, Chef. Four scallops, table one. We're doing great. I'm feeling pretty good with appetizers. We seem to have our groove going. But in the dining room, a blue team appetizer has been found wanting. Good evening. I understand we have a couple of cold sea scallops, is that right? Yes. I'll take them right back to the kitchen and have Thank them replaced you. immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Apologies, once again, I'll be right back. Thank you. Chef, you got an issue here. Cold sea scallops on table six. Blue team. I need them back. Quick, quick, quick. Plates got sent back saying the scallops were cold. I just refired two more orders of scallops and it's right back out there. Please send my apologies to Chef. I'm so sorry about that, Chef. The blue team recovers quickly and after a rough start, the red team is nailing their plating. Good, Chef. It's better than good. Thank it's you. really amazing. Thank you, Chef. I'm, I'm beyond impressed, I'll be Thank honest you, with you. Thank you, Chef. The red team rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks the appetizer round. Like, we are killing it. Customer feedback will be taken into account, but ultimately, the judges will choose the winning team. Both these plates are beautiful. I would have to agree that the plates look stunning. The blue team's plating was a little messy. It wasn't as refined. Hey, hey, stop talking. Let's taste. Let's taste. I'm Let's hungry. Try the blue team. That's beautiful. I mean, that is, to me, perfection. A little bit rare on the inside. Now let's compare the red team to the blue team. I would say this sea scallop is a little salty. Kayla was a little heavy-handed, I think. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next appetizer. When you put the two side by side, you really notice how the presentations differ. The red team here seems to really have the edge on the presentation. It's plated properly, the proportions are all correct. The blue team, unfortunately, it's very sparse. It's very light on the dressing. That's the only flaw, though. Let's try the blue team. Blue, okay. You know, I really love the textures. You know, you got the crunchy walnut, you got the hydrated beetroot juice. They pulled it off. Now, the red team here, the beet is cooked to perfection. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't tell the difference if one of my cooks had plated this. Wow. You guys look too much. You should be eating because this tastes absolutely perfect. 
But now, the home cooks face the much more challenging main course. Pan-roasted halibut with Thai coconut broth and tea-smoked venison with chanterelles and sweet potato. Right 30 now. seconds, guys. We're starting. Ordering. Blue team. Five halibut, three venison. Yes, chef. I'm cooking both stars of the dishes, so if I screw it up, there is no dish. Red team. Yes, chef. Ordering. Yes, chef. Six venison, two halibut. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. That was six venison. You're both quiet. Okay. Lead. Kayla, not yet. I got to drop it or it's going to be a dead pan. No, then no, leave no, the no, pan. No, no, Move no, it off the no, heat. No, Kayla, no, don't no, do it. I feel like I can't breathe, and I just have to pump out these dishes. Let me drop. Let me drop. No, not no, yet. No, no. I don't want you putting that halibut in until he's put the venison in the oven. You yeah. got it. But despite Tamara's instructions, Kayla decides to start the halibut. How far is this away? This is six minutes away, chef. You sure about that? Yes, chef. Six minutes? And six minutes here. Yeah. So if this is six minutes away and your venison's six minutes venison's away, rest for what about minutes. resting? Yeah, so your venison's rest. 10 minutes away. Yeah. So in 10 minutes, this fish will be overcooked. OK, chef. Right? Kayla, what did I tell you about the fish? Kayla, if you're not going to listen, you're going to be off the station. Dead fish. Yeah. Dead, Dead fish. fish. Get a new one. Over on the blue team, Eric has his proteins under control, and the first dishes are ready to leave the kitchen. Some nice looking plates here. Service. But the red team continues to struggle, and one of their tables is getting restless. Can I talk you into staying just five more minutes to give us another chance to try and get your food out? Okay. Five minutes. We have to go. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Losing my appetite. I've just had table seven grab me and tell me that if they cannot get their main courses in five minutes, they're going to leave. Tamara? Yes, Chef. Table seven is you. Yes, Chef. This table is leaving the restaurant if the food is not there in one minute. How did that happen? Hey, we need those fish now. We Hi. need them plated now. Guys, honestly, we've got tables that are going to walk out any minute. Get plated. I'm Get plated. plated. Yes. If they leave because of your dishes, there's going to be huge consequences. They left. They couldn't Great. wait any longer. Table yep. seven, Tamara, has walked Just out. Just walked out. Table seven is you. That's never, ever happened in this restaurant. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Work together as a team. I need you to help her with signs and me plating. OK, I'm Okay, we have I enough medicine. Signs. Yeah. OK, we lost one. Sucks. Brutal. So we just got to be focused. Service! But just as the red team starts to hit their rhythm, the blue team loses theirs. You know, I need three halibut and one venison. That'll after be, that, I need one halibut and three venison. That'll be right after. after that, I need another halibut and another venison. Let's go. Eric, how are you doing here? He's on steering like I want him to. Our timing is off, and this is crucial. Why are you steering on the wrong side? That's the back side. Sorry, Chef. Come on, I was so specific with you. It just slipped my mind that there's one side that has to be seared first. It's so stressful. I don't know how to get out of the weeds. Uh, we're just, like, stuck in this rut, and we can't even bounce back. If I were you, I would pull him off that. He can't do this. Chef, he's got it. Chef, he owns this. He did such an amazing job on the scallops. I know he's going to do an amazing job on the proteins. I don't know what to do here. Okay, you know what? Start over. Okay, right now, we're going to put three new venison in there and five halibut. I can't start the halibut at the same time as the venison. Start the venison. Start the venison right now. Chef. I need food. Yes, chef. How long? Okay. How long? We need, we need 12 minutes, chef. We have to refire everything. Our time was up. I don't know how we're going to get through this dinner service. I need you on the pass. I've got to go in here. They're okay. going down. They need my help. All right, get in there. Chef Claudio takes over the kitchen. We just blew it. It really sucked. He comes in with so much confidence and just nails, like, seven venison at once. OK, next. We're doing them at the same time. OK, nice hot pan. We're almost there, guys. We can do this. With Claudio's help, the blue team gets back on track. Claudio, how long? You're going to have everything up in six minutes. Six everything. minutes. Everything. OK, start plating. Let's go. And the red team continues to pump out orders. Order! Some nice-looking plates here Thank for you, the red chef. team. Service. We kind of just get the groove going. Calibets are ready. Service. Table eight. Let's go, guys. we got a rhythm now. Let's push it out. Mine's good. And I like the halibut. And I like this coconut broth. It's kind of the best thing I've ever had. Oh, my God. It's really good. Service. Come on, service. Service. The last plate goes out. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Woo! I mean, in terms of appearance, it's very difficult to say which one's better. The halibut on the blue team, the portion size looks uh, a little small. It does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Let's try the red team here. Well, the fish is very nicely cooked. You can see it glistening there. Look at that moisture. The fish is beautiful. Nicely cooked, light golden brown. Great dish. Let's try the blue plate now. I got to say, I am not 
loving the way that the uh, burdock is garnished here. It looks very messy. Yeah, I It agree. almost looks like compost. Let's see what the middle looks like here. Wow, this looks a little more cooked, though. What do you think? Dry. Yeah, that's a dry piece of fish. It's a yeah. little more dry. Yeah, it's dry. All right, guys. At first glance, they look uh, terrific. Two wonderful venison dishes. The venison here is rested properly on the blue plate. On the red team, the venison, you can see it's bled all over the sweet potato. It did not rest properly. If I was given that, I would send it back. So we'll try the blue team first. That venison is perfect. Nicely seasoned, perfectly cooked. OK, let's try the red team's plate. Look at the venison here. You can see the outside is completely charred. The pan was too hot, overheated. That's not nice. Definitely. I don't recommend that. Team on three. One, two, three, team! team. With less than an hour before service, the teams prep their beef tartare and octopus a la plancha. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's keep working. There is a lineup outside now, guys. Are you ready for this? Yes, Are you amped up? Yeah. Guys, get organized on your stations here. Yeah. Clean up what your stuff you have going. Welcome to Copa Team. Red Team, you have your first order. Chef. One octopus, yes, one tartare. One octopus, one tartare. For the appetizers, I want Andy to be working on the cooking of the octopus. I want Nadia to be working on the mix and the marinade for the steak tartare. And I'm going to be putting together the final composition of these dishes. You let me know when you need me, OK? Yep, I will. It's looking great. All right, blue team, your first order is four octopus, two beef tartare. Eugene? Four octopus, two tartare. Bring it in. Becky is handling the tartare dish. Eugene's role is to cook the octopus. My role is to plate the octopus. Kagan, you have to clean the plates before they go out. Yes, Becky. Where's my tartare going with this octopus, guys? Right here, chef. Red team, nice plates. Is this beginner's luck? Pretty awesome. Thank you very much, Chef. Red team, nice looking appetizers. Thank you, really chef. great. We are doing very well. We are talking, we're communicating. How can I help here? How can I help? We are working like a proper kitchen in my eyes. So blue team, the red team is already pushing apps out. They're on their second table already. You have not given me one table yet. Eugene, where are those octopus? They're coming. Two minutes. For octopus. Perfect. Plate them. Put them down. Octopus down. This is our first plating, and Kagan's already asked me to do the plating instead now. 20 minutes on your first table, Kagan. We're going to pick it up from here. Things are feeling a little bit chaotic. Becky, how we doing? Two more plates, nearly up. Blue team, you got to hustle. You still owe me four octopus. Kagan, you're getting absolutely crushed right now I, by the I red see team. That. I need my team to move a lot faster. They're just yelling, frantically moving. Okay, careful. And it seems like they're not actually doing anything. You owe me four more octo right now. Four more octo? There's no clear option for what to do next. Like, I don't know how to fix this. Kagan, do you need help with the octopus? Yes. Kagan, is this finished? Greens. The greens. Kagan, the greens. Kagan. Kagan, you're making me wait for plates, and then they come up, and they're not even that great. The pressure is getting to me. Flip that, flip that, flip that. I need help plating. OK. Mike G is a phenomenal captain. I uh, don't like that one. Too skinny. Do it again. He is focused. He's got an amazing plan. He's communicating well. Are they good? You guys are doing a great job. Thank you, chef. They're ready for service. Kagan, take a look at this plate. This is your competition. I'll give you a recap. You owe me four tartars, two octo. Four tartars. And your apps are all out. Help us finish these plates. Becky, beautiful plating here. Thank you. All right, guys, great job on the appetizers. As the home cooks prepare for the entree service, the judges take a moment to taste each team's appetizers. So here we have the octopus a la plancha. The blue team's plating is not as sophisticated or as clean as the red team. You can see that the red team here has really placed everything properly. Let's try the blue team's octopus first here. The cook on that, very even. The interior is juicy, you can see that. Oh, that octopus is so tender. The flavor and the way they cook that octopus, it's perfect. I hope the red team tastes just as good as it looks. You know, it's just a tad on the dry side. The execution was not there. Let's try the blue team's tartare. I find the blue team's generally under seasoned. It's unbalanced. Let's try the red team. No. Disappointingly, um, I think the red team is suffering from the same problems as the blue team. No seasoning. I would say they were even Steven. Round two. Entrees are up next. 
start thinking ahead of what it is that you're working on. Cheers. Cheers. For the entrees, guests will choose between sea bream with chorizo and clams and lamb loin with black lentils and carrots. Let's go. Blue team. One lamb, two bream. You're going to be real busy, Eugene. All right, red team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. First order, two sea bream. Two sea bream, guys. Coming two sea bream. Then you're going to give me three bream, one lamb. This is the first time I've ever cooked sea bream. This is crazy. Let me see that fish. Overcooked? Overcooked. Okay. Eugene, it's overcooked. We need to redo it. So, Eugene, you just wasted five pieces of fish. I'm sorry, chef. Right now, all we have is one out of the five orders for the first table. It feels like we're starting the challenge over again now. Red team, I need that lamb yesterday. The fish it. has already gone out. When are you going to give me five bream and one lamb? As soon as we can get the, the bream from over there. Eugene, how many clams are in this pan? pan? I have four no. on the pan. Eugene, listen okay. to what I'm saying before you answer. How many is in this pan? How many orders? It's for five. OK. Becky, are you in charge now? It seems like it. it. Seems like it, right? Looks like it. I'm having a hard time balancing all of these different things. I can't pay attention to Chef Claudio, and I can't pay attention to the rest of my team. Eugene, one yeah. on two orders. Okay, four fish are about to come. Eugene, you got that? Kagan, take control. Becky, do you want to take charge? Do you need me to? Eugene listens to you, and you're more composed. Eugene, I'm in charge now. I'm excited to be team captain. I'm going to whip these boys into shape. Thank you, Becky. The best chance we have of winning is with Becky at the helm. Two lambs. Nice looking lambs, Becky. Thank you. How long in the bream? The bream is about two minutes away. Becky's team captain, and it's going much smoother. I need those two breams fast. Yep. What's going on, red team? You start off very strong, We're still and now it's slipping guys. away from you. I am getting extreme amounts of fire in my station. Oil, flame, does not go well together. Give me that bream. Are you cooking it or cremating it? This is burning my land. This is putting me way back. I need help down here fast. Michael G, what is going on with you? You're burning land. Take a deep breath. My order of land is all burnt, which means that I'm four orders in the weeds right now. Things are totally hitting the fan. Stop taking my stuff. Mike, calm, 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 calm. Andy notices this, comes right over to me, and says, calm down. We got this. We can do it. Relax. Yeah, you got this, Mike. Don't get rattled. Don't get rattled. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And he saved me. We've got nine more lamb and three sea bream. We've got four up right now. I'm waiting on the lentils to cook. Get your garnishes. Get your lentils. Yep. They're all ready to go. OK, good, 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 good. We're, we're good. We're good now. We're good. All right, Becky, you're doing a great job. Your, Thank you. Your team is catching up now. That was a smart move by relinquishing control of your team and giving it to Becky. It was the right thing to do. I'm like, hashtag team Becky right now. Just like, yes, you go, girl, yes. Two lamb, Becky, and you are clear. No, Eugene, top's up. <laughs> it feels amazing to be in a professional environment. Beautiful, guys. It feels really natural. I'm beyond proud right now. That's amazing. Thank you, Chef. Mike, how are we doing down there? We're good. Next lamb's coming up. OK, cool. I think we're, we're caught up on fish. Looking at these dishes, I'm really happy the way they're turning out. Up, ah, service is up. All right, guys, we're getting our rhythm now. That's good. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We really just need to pump out these last few dishes, and we've completed probably one of the hardest cooks that we'll ever have to do in our lives. Medium well going here. I'm really proud of my team. We're good. We're caught up. We're caught up. All right, that's it. Service is over. Bring it in, guys. Good job. Good work, Great guys. Work, Nadia. So here we have the sea bream from the red team and the sea bream from the blue team. The red team has done a great job caramelizing the skin on the sea bream. The skin on the fish is perfectly rendered. It's crispy. The potato done to perfection. I'm struggling to find a fault on the red team's sea bream. It's a really well executed dish. Let's try the blue. The skin on the sea bream again here is perfectly seared. Look at that. It's crispy, a little bit golden here on the edge. I can tell you for me, the fit. It's good, but it's slightly overcooked. All right, let's try the red team's lamb. Let's see how it's cooked. 
It's a bit over. This is more medium than yes. medium rare. So the red team missed the mark on the cook of the lamb. The lento, the carrots, for me, they were perfect. Let's try the blue teams now. I got to tell you, the blue team looks, looks a bit tired to me. It does not have the sophistication that I showed them originally when I gave them a demo. Let's see what we get. The cook on the blue team's lamb is perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. The lentils, well seasoned. The seasoning on the lamb for the blue team is under seasoned. The red team and the blue team are very close in many elements of both their dishes. But for their first attempt in a professional kitchen, both teams, I thought, did very well. I agree. They did a great job. Oh my gosh, look. I'm seeing David George, Michael from season two. I'm so excited. Hi. Oh, I'm starstruck. Hi. Hi. You see Dora come in. Kevin, it's just so amazing. Hi. This guy's having a lot of fun over here. I love yeah. it. Thank you. There's Lynn, there's David, there's Christopher. Suddenly it just got real. All right, red team. Yes, yes chef. Blue team. Yes, yes chef. chef. Service begin. Blue team, two chop suey. Yes, chef. Two, two chop suey. suey. Red team, I want yes. three chop suey. Understood, chef. Blue team, I want three bibimbap. Red team, two bibimbap. These orders are flying in so much faster than I ever could have anticipated. Red team, did you say red team? You gotta listen to me. You gotta listen to me. It's complete chaos. Come on, bibimbap. Come on, chef. Chop suey up. Okay, nice plating. Nice plating. Thank you, chef. I already feel good. First dish out, and we're ready winning. Service! Beautiful, beautiful. One chow mein blue team, one chow mein red team. Do it now. Yes, hey, 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 hey. Hey, be careful, be careful. Oh. What did, hey, 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 turn it off. Get, get a cough, get a cough. Throw a cough at it. Fire is billowing out of the walk station. Throw this, throw that at it, go. We're in a lot of trouble. Throw this, throw that at it, go. That's it, magic, okay? okay chef. Come on. Sure, chef. Jeremy? was just adding his oil to his walk and he already set it on fire. I'm not sure these boys know how to play safe. Jeremy, is there any way I can help you, man? No, I'm good, no, OK. Starting the fire, it's embarrassing. I want to prove to the judges that I can use this walk. Just sitting here, I can feel the anxiety from last season's restaurant takeover coming back. It feels awesome to be on this side of the kitchen, just knowing that we're not sweating, we're not fighting, and we're going to get to eat some great food. That's very nice. Thank you, chef. Service place, table three. Red team, I want three chop suey. Yes, chef. Come on, height. Service, chop suey up. Service, please. I got to tell you, the chop suey and the red team looks beautiful. It looks textbook. It's absolutely fantastic. Just the combination of all those flavors, amazing. Have the vegetarian chop suey. Presentation, I would say it's even Steven. They look fantastic. Big, bold, bright colors. Let's try the red team. Love the crunch. Yeah, I agree. Love the crispness of it. I think they were just a little shy on the dressing. And that beautiful dressing with the, all the Chinese flavor is missing. Let's try this one. Yeah, look at the noodles. They're all just bathing in this beautiful Asian dressing. Mm. Yep. The blue team nailed it. Great texture, great flavor. Great presentation. It's got a touch more dressing. It's slightly better dish. Two chop suey. Can I help you get the eggs on those, yeah. please? Alvin is watching our every move. One bibimbap. Where's the sesame? I'll get the sesame. Yes, chef. Coming, chef. It has to look good and taste good. All right, don't forget. I will not forget, forget again, chef. Or else we're not going to win this challenge. I see Matthew slowly putting toppings on his bibimbap one at a time. I'm filling both my bowls at the same time. I'm working twice as fast as Matthew. Chef, baby Bob. Hey, nice plating. Thank you, Chef. Table three. This is our take on the famous Korean bibimbap. Which one looks better? I think the blue, just the fraction. It seems like everything was placed with a sense of purpose. But I love the way the crab looks on the uh, red team. It looks beautiful, crisp, nicely cut and portioned. Let's taste it. Well, I'm getting crunch from the crispy rice around the edge of the bowl, from the soft shell crab, from those beautiful vegetables. OK, let's try this one. There's a lot of garnish here, which is what you want. But is the flavor there? Oh, really crispy crab. Mm. Mm. That is a flavor bomb. This is very close, but I got to tell you, the red team has a slight edge. I agree. OK, everything's looking great. You good, April Lee? I'm good, man. I got this. Good girl. 
You know, what I like to see is Mary. She is up front there, right in the middle of it, watching every dish go out. How many have you cooked, Veronica? After this one, I need to do one more, and then I'll cut up. OK. Red team, I want two more chow mein. Yes, chef. April Lee, two chow mein. Yes, Mary. There is so much pressure being team captain. You're doing amazing, OK? Yeah. I'm just trying to keep it clear in my head what needs to go out and that none of our dishes are going out poorly. Two chops, do we have? All right, very nice. Service, table five. One chow mein blue team, one chow mein red team. Do it now. Yes, chef. Hey, what do you say? Yes, chef. I hear Alvin talking to us, and whenever he's saying anything, I would always say, yes, chef. Blue team. I want three bibimbap. Yes, chef. And I don't hear anything from Jeremy, because he's just so zoned out at the walk. How are you doing, Jeremy? Jeremy, how are you doing? In terms of leadership right now, I've got to tell you, the blue team seem to be quiet. Well, and the, Jeremy's on the walk, so he's got his back to the entire kitchen. And he has no idea what's going in and out of his station. I don't get it. Blue team, one lobster. Say yes, chef. Yes, chef. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Here you go, chef. Good job, man. Did you taste it? I did. Good. Service, please. Season two Master Chef winner David George is in the middle of sampling both teams' chow mein dishes when Claudio pays his table a visit. How you doing? Good, Chef. Good. So, what do you think of the food so far? I pulled a giant piece of uh, cartilage out of my mouth, so that's never appetizing. So, other than that, it flavors are on point. So, well, listen, right we're gonna get you a fresh plate okay. and redo this. Thank you. Guys, I want to watch this. I have some bad news. It's actually really bad news for the red team. David George found a piece of cartilage in his dish. Yes. Mary. Yes, Chef. This I'm... is absolutely unacceptable. I'm so sorry. I know, and I'm so sorry. I expect more from you. I know you do. My reputation's at stake. Do it now. We will do it right do now. Do it now, quick. Right now, right now, quick. Serving the current MasterChef Canada title holder, lobster that isn't edible it could send me and my team to the pressure test. I'm very, very disappointed. Come on, get it right. Make sure you check it. Refire? Yeah, another refire. Okay, you're not leaving me right no. now? Or what? Come on, red team, you're behind, come yeah, on. Chef, I just gotta make sure this blows. You're behind, right. come on. One minute, chef. If a lobster gets sent back again, it's all over. Good girl. One. Okay, this lobster looks great. Got two up. That's the replay. Service, please. Number three. You're doing amazing, April Lee. David, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you, Chef. Can you understand how this can happen, being in that kitchen? I can. We know what they're going through. You're just trying to do your best and as fast as possible. No disrespect, they're doing an amazing job. All right. I hope you enjoy this. Thank Take you. care. The most popular dish at R&D, Eric's famous lobster chow mein. They look pretty similar. So we'll try the red teams first. The lobster is cooked perfectly. The noodles, on the other hand, seem to be overcooked. All right, let's try the blue one. This lobster, Alvin, looks raw. It's a little under. I mean, that is raw lobster. The Japanese it's raw. translucent there. Raw lobster, overcooked noodles. What's worse, both unacceptable. Neither makes a perfect dish. Baby Bob, coming up on the red team's pass. Good, very nicely done. Thank you, Chef. It's got excellent flavor, nice texture to it. They're doing really well. Good evening, ladies. How are you enjoying everything? Um, we weren't too happy with lobster chow mein. OK. It was really chewy, and there was actually a shell left on the piece of the lobster. Like, this was a leftover dish. Alvin's not going to be happy about this one. Chef yes. Alvin, this is a complete and utter disaster. They found a lobster shell. The lobster was beyond overcooked. That's bad. What team was that? Please, please, please. Don't beat the red team. That's this was the blue from. team. Blue team. Jeremy, Jeremy, yes, Jeremy. Lobster chow mein. Look, lobster overcooked. Noodles undercooked. Yes, Come on, I want everything has to be perfect. Do it again, right now. Okay, do chef. it, do it. You know what they said? What? Describe it as leftovers. Bad, that's bad. That's really bad. You gotta get that guest a new plate of chow mein. It's gonna be down to the wire. Jeremy, come on. Last one, that's the last Jeremy. one. You're behind, come on. Last order of chow mein. Look better than the last one. Nice one, nice one. Woo! Service, please. Number 12. All right, you're done. Thank you, Woo! Chef. 
Yeah. We just took over one of the busiest restaurants in Toronto. I got so much lipstick on your toe! <laughs> what an amazing experience. I can't believe we pulled it off.